We got us on team one together with Athol, man. Ready to go as a retribution paladin. Kratzy as a demonology warlike. Fetty as a retribution. We got Feral Beast ready to go as a cat. And we got Bapa come back, making a return versus team two. With a Tishko on that shatter face. We got Zip on the rogue. Anton is on holy DK and Arhi looking to make an enhanced shaman work. I still don't understand why you have one shoulder. Can I mismatch like this? Does it fit, chat? It's like you're all bronze. There's one shoulder that's like kind of a bit of brown, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue at the top with that effect. I'm trying to figure out like what part of it like. There's got to be something on his body that kind of matches that color scheme, right? Is it the axe because it's blue? Is it trying to go for like a yellow and a kind of blue-ish tint to it maybe? I'm not really sure. It's going to be Anton up next versus Atho. Trying to see if he can go for a chain of ice. He immediately got himself the swarm joining in. Looking to get himself a little bit extra damage. That's going to be the dark pack with the pets dropping in. Or not a dark pack, but a dark transformation. Atho going for the human Rachel out of the sun. Going to be a stun by the pet. Going to be a wake of ashes dropping a stun. Dropping a full CC onto the army of the ghosts. Just leave on top of Atho. And Atho man actually might just a bubble and shield of venice. The only thing that's really keeping him alive right now versus Anton. But Donna just Atho. Absolutely crushing it. Looks like the main goal. What second goal? Wait, did he get sec? What did he get the second goal? Huh? Was it just part of the army um, of the dead? How did you get a second one for a second? Might have been tier set proc. Maybe. Did they get someone in death to the tier set as well? Maybe that's what it was. Atherman trying to see if he might be able to keep the pressure versus Anton, but as a, as a death knight, just used up a lot of the cooldowns. Atherman is still taken down and held little by little. Amos is up for Anton as he comes up a little bit of recovery. Any holy damage from Atherman is going to just give him lots of resources. Stone to Ather is forced out of a bubble. Does Ather just go in for as much damage as possible himself? Looks like he might want to ramp someone up. Anton is just trying to be extra careful versus Ather. It's going to go for a little bit of self healing. Does sacrifice the ghoul, crushing its life. Just absolutely crushing it for a big old pulp of extra health. Battlemaster Shrink is getting used. Might have to go for a death pack. That's going to be Army of the Dead joining in yet again with Apocalypse Ather. Trying to see if he might be able to survive a lot of the pet onslaught. Got himself the Aegis Shrink to reduce some of the shatter damage from Anton. But the physical damage is going to go straight through you. Does he have an execute on him? Potentially. Oh, clawing shadows from a mile away. Just a 40 yard claw just connects, reaches out to Ather. Wraps his claws around his neck and just crushes the trachea. Taking him down with Papa come back. Gonna be up next versus Anton. He just got himself full barunic power. Just used a lot of offenses versus Atherman. But he might be able to continue the sustained damage here versus Anton. Oh, uh, versus Papa. As Anton got himself AMS for the thorns. Looks like AMS got burned through, through very, very quickly. Still, flash cut out for Papa. Does go for a main, which is Anton. Just trying to keep the dots in. That's going to be resonant. So can, Anton can't really do much about it. Does get himself Lichborn. Potentially could go for some death coils. And it looks like some of the magic damage from uh, Papa is going to proc the spell warden. Which could be kind of big. Dark pack with a stun. Anton trying to see if he can reconnect. You got the army of the dead joined in very, very So it's going to be more ghouls joined in. Papa and the bear from a friends of region getting yoinked in. And Anton got himself full bar runic power. Might be able to reconnect with Papa. Maybe use that full bar runic power to catch up a lot of healing. Yeah, Papa is still taking a bit of damage from those pets. Is able to slow him down by quite a bit. But the ghosts are going to reconnect back up. Another main one to Anton. Does have a chicken for it. Papa back in bear form. Quick run. Just trying to see if he can run out of there. Looks like Anton cut up a lot of healing. While behind the pillar, while still trying to catch up to Papa. Looks like potential Papa ready to go for some burst. He does himself full defense and full offensive ready. Looks like he's sending a big blaze onto Anton. It's going to be a full swarm out for the Death Knight. Full blades up with a berserk IBF for Anton so he doesn't have to sit in stuns for long at all. It's going to be Papa getting here with the sun while bear from has a chicken in case he needs to. Grippy Hand is going to keep him close. Papa will not be able to escape it too much if he runs the bend. The Grippy Hand is going to pull him back in. Got himself a roar immediately as soon as he got gripped in by the A bomb limb trying to see if he might be able to disconnect away from Anton as best as possible Anton took a full bleed set of those bird zerg bleeds he was able to survive it interrupted to papa does he have an interrupt with the pet looks like he doesn't have an interrupt with his main pet gonna be army of the dead joining in though and papa what happened to your main pet? Looks like he kind of backed up for a second, just kind of sat there for a moment. Thorns are up. Papa is going to see even more ghouls that summoned up by the death that is just going to walk away from the while thorns are up. Trying to see if it might be able to get back next to Anton to interrupt him on the flesh cap. Looks like the ghouls are continuing to claw at the feral, but the feral exchanges the bleeds with Anton. And the ghouls and dark bed. Dark transformation down for the death knight for now. Limited in what he can really do against the feral. Got himself runic power generation. 
He does have himself the execute damage versus uh, Papa in case he ever can get him low enough. With so much healing from a Feral Druid, there's only so much you can do. Stone into Papa, still has a Trinket, but looks like Anto does not really have the damage to follow up. Does go for the Dark Pack, that's gonna be interrupted on the nature. Army that I join in, Papa could be in trouble. Does it uh, get slow? So he needs to get the pet to reconnect back with Papa and go for a transformation. Looks like the Ghost are actually getting a bit of damage. Friends of Region bars it up for Papa, does get another Friends of Region, so he has to be playing the tank legendary. So this Druid is playing a tank build. And so far, he's been able to just survive by the sheer battle of attrition versus Anto, but done just by the sheer amount of self-healing that he's got going on versus the death that big grip onto the Feral. As Anto is just trying to run ahead of the of the uh, Feral, does he have the next formation with an interrupt? Looks like Flesh Card is going to let Papa come back, get a lot of recovery on bear form. Not much you can really do about it. Another goal joined him for Anto, but done. He just got to find a way to get Papa low enough. Land the Soul Reaper. Get the army of the dead join in. Dark packed and everything, and maybe just maybe keep Papa come back self low enough to maybe land that big execute. He might be able to do it. Grip onto Papa, got himself the swarm joining in. I think he's trying to see if he might be able to get himself Army of the Dead as well. Potentially, does he have some gripping hand? Stun to Papa come back. That's gonna be gripping hand. Army of the Dead, big stun. Oh my goodness, he just absolutely collapsed everything onto the druid, and that druid was running and take and trick it. Oh my goodness. Wait, I think he literally prepped up an execute. I think he literally had the execute and saw his health go 20, gone. Oh my god. He actually did it. He played against the droid. He won full tank build. I was thinking on Holy Death that wouldn't be able to survive that. Normally, Death Deaths don't have that much survivability. But Anto Banan was not going to give up to a cat like that. Cats is going to be up next. Going for a stun to Anto Banan. Get himself lots of those pets up and running. There's going to be Tyrant while Wall is up. Anto Banan is going to have to bail out of there as the Tyrant is blasted into the back of his uh, back, well, back of his head. As he tried to go for a little bit of healing, AMZ getting used in order to deal with a lot of the magic damage. Only really stopping the Tyrant magic damage. Walking out of the AMZ, Spell Warden helping him a little bit. But just trying to see if he can avoid cats. It's a lot of physical damage with the Anto Badan. Might decide to go for a pet sacrifice, maybe with a death bag. Just trying to see if he maybe can get his swarm up and running. That's going to be lots of damage. IBF up and running. Might have to go for as much self healing. 25% dampening. He's got to do something. Oh, I think he was trying to see if he might be able to play for a long haul. But Katsy did end up taking him down. Catsy gonna be trying to trade some pets for Zarki. Got the stone in range. Got him saying more pets being built up. That Earth Elemental is able to get the aggro of some of the pets versus Catsy. It looks like the main Rathgar Felguard is very much enamored by it. So are the Ghost Wolves, or rather, Demon Doggos. Are he trying to see if he might be able to stay on Catsy? Try to keep him slowed as best as possible. He got the interrupts in case he needs to. Thunder, potentially stun, is gonna be big and little busted. Katsy does get a primordial, big zap to follow. Katsy, no health, that's a ghost of attacking him. I think it might be the end of you though. Mortical into the wolf, but a second one runs in. Trying to see if it might be able to fight right through the drain life. That Mortical in the last second literally saved him. That is incredible. I literally thought that was going to be over, but that could have been over. Big Alan Blast has already tried to see if he might be able to dunk onto Katsy. He needs himself a little bit of maelstrom if he wants to make sure that thing slaps with quite a bit of damn. And Cassie dropping in the obelisk. Those pets are going to get empowered. Arky sprinting over. It's going to be Cassie. Does he have anything to follow? Got himself Demon Doggins versus Arky with a stun right after. Does Arky have enough damage or do you? Cassie got nothing real left. Trying to go for a fear versus Arky. Does he have the big Ellie Blast? He just needs one more hit. It's going to be Demonic Tarn joining in. Those pets are empowered. Cassie Moon could actually potentially turn this around versus Arky. If Arky is not careful with those pets, it's going to pop a wall. Cassie, no help whatsoever. That goes for trying to see if we can maybe take him out. Mortical into one of the wolves. Drain life on it right after. Cassie looking for that recovery. Arky, I think maybe trying to cheese this duel too much, but dampening is so high. Those pets could be really to his detriment. Stone onto Arky. Demon Dog is joined in. Cats has got plenty of damage versus this. And Arky trying to see if he might be able to swing around. Looks like he's going to sit on those pets for a little bit. On those demons that got coalesced around him. Katsy got himself a port. Arky just can't quite catch him just yet. Gonna be the static so that might be able to have him in place enough or long enough. Big Ellie Blaster follow. Katsy trying to go for a hand to go down. He's not in the game just yet. Oh, if only he got a mortal coal that might have given him opportunity to live. Barrel B is gonna be up next over for the team one. Let's just try to see if he might be able to fight versus Arky. It's going to be Ellie, pa Ellie Wolves joining in. Plenty of Maelstrom, but not enough health. I think it might be over for Arhi. Unless he somehow gets a crit. Can you clutch it? He couldn't quite clutch it. It was so close, though. As Feral Beast does end up unloading all the dots on the boy. Taking him out. Is it going to be Zip? Is it going to be Ptichka? It looks like it is going to be Ptichka. Actually, it's Ptichkina, but it's close enough to just call him Ptichka. Which means hospital or the emergency room in Russian. Which I think is a kind of a... 
Got a name for a priest. Open up by the Pharaoh. Got himself the swarm. Big blitz up on her Pharaoh frenzy. Everything. Does he add the berserk in there? Gonna be a fear by the shadow priest. Trying to see if we might be able to fight against this blades with flash cap. Was able to avoid it a little bit. 20% DR as well as the shield. Wasn't enough. Quick scout bash on the shadow. That's gonna have to get a try to see if we might be able to get himself a little bit of survivability. That's gonna be a lot of those void bolts coming out. He needs to go for as much self-heal as possible. Does get some CC on the Feral Beast. It's gonna be DPs down. But it looks like Feral Beast with all those bats and the dot damage. No could really. Didn't really have to do much against it. Gonna be Feral Beast going in for a full wall cyclone, trying not to get cloned, trying to get interrupted. That's gonna be a zip. Does Juka get checked out on that kick? Full Vendetta, full Saps is actually committed all of that as the Feral tried to go for a bear from Flesh Cap. So Zip just used a lot of his offensive cooldowns just to make sure he could eliminate that Feral. And Zip looks like he's gonna go for a bit of a, a bit of a reset. Full cooldowns are up. It's as much of a one-on-one -one as possible. Fendi tucked himself in the corner. Zap trying to see if he might be able to get himself a go. Garot, that's going to be immediate evasion versus the Paladin into immediate disarm. It looks like the Rogue is looking to maybe disconnect. Stun onto Zip. He does go for a kitten shot. Cloak of Shadows. Fendi, full sepsis. That's going to be Fendi not going for bubbling. Oh, wait, he actually did it. Oh my god, Fendi thought they could survive it without bubbling. And the Rogue got him. Wait a second. The Rogue actually did it. Yo. Chat, I literally said, what if he does burst in like half a second? What if he does a huge amount of burst in just half a second if Fendi doesn't expect it? I think it's exactly what happened. Yo, that was a huge, huge giga burst out of that rogue. <laughs> My god, sorry, you're nuts.